Bang. Needs knives. Jared. Lovely wife, Kara. Hello. And tonight we are doing knife talk. Knife talk, pillow talk. Baby, tell them where we're at. We are in our bed. And we're using a plastic Tupperware lid as our table. Because I didn't want to get up and do a video at the real spot, so. She's not dedicated, guys. She's not I'm dedicated. I'm so dedicated that I'm doing it in bed not at dedication. 11 o'clock at night when I have to work tomorrow. Yeah. It's not, it's not 11. No. It's 11. <clears throat> so check it out. We're going to go over just a few knives. I did want to do a completely different video, but now we're just winging it. And what we're going to do is we're just going to show a few knives we've modded. And talk about a couple future videos, do a couple shout outs, blah, blah, blah. Hopefully somebody watches this. Um, I do want to talk about a few things though, like this knife right here. I want to do a video about this knife. Um, not just because it's a badass rake, but it has a little lock rock. So I was going to do a video on how to fix that and what you can do to fix lock it rock. Does? Yeah, it has a little bit of lock I rock. see that. So I was thinking about doing that. Um, let me know if you guys would like to see that. Um, it's very, you know, it's a very good thing to know because there's a, a couple different ways to do it. And, um, and the main way I want to go over, okay, that's just one thing. Another thing I want to, uh, I know we showed this on yesterday's video. This is one of the knives we modded. I think it turned out very well. So I did the anno on the handle and then Jared did the well, acidachin. Yeah, you asked if and it's from the, the fat blade. ass razor blade. It's pretty sharp, but you know, we've had this thing for a while. Still I'm trying to focus. Go ahead. Is that oil on there? Uh, oil leaking out? Yeah, a little bit. It's all right, Nice though. presentation. It doesn't matter. Um, but um, also the lettering from the acid etch, it makes like a little bit of a brown stain. Oh, that's what it was. Yeah, the but lettering. That's not that down there. That's probably a little bit of oil. But, um, but... You can see the edge I put on there. It's actually pretty nice. Um, it's decent. I could strap it. But the problem with it is, is that these things start off with a not so thin blade for you know for slicing. So I we've had this for a while. I had to put a sharpening choil in there, as oh, you can yeah. see. And I put that in there because um, you know it was getting so th it's going, getting so thick behind the edge. I'm thinking about possibly turning this into a hollow grind no or thinning the edge blade out and just going why don't flat you try that on something not almost thinking $200. about it um what is that oh yeah this one i wanted to match i also modded this well we just ass etched it and uh tumbled why don't you tell them what it is okay this is the kubi we already did a video on this this okay. is the kubi Eris. but see you can't get this the um acid etched blade with the blue um titanium you can only get black titanium with the with the um the black blade so we i did this blade because it had so many scratches because all our knives are users guys all of them so um uh, no safe queens Ooh, here sorry. so um I you. it's um i wanted the choil on the 0450 to be just like this one this one's um stock i guess you could say and i liked it it works out pretty good this thing's not the thinnest behind the edge, but man, this thing gets really sharp. A lot sharper than the 0450 does. So, that's where I was kind of thinking about it on. Um, another uh, knife. This is one we haven't done a review on. We never did a review on the 0450 either. That mm. one's not a bad. We might do a whole video on our knife mods and the, the knives we've modded. Just like we thought about doing a... Um, Isn't that kind of what we're doing now, though? Kind of. Just half-assed, though. Um, we might, we were going to do a video tonight on Chinese knives. And so we might still do that one. Let us know if you guys want to see that one. Um, and just where Chinese knives is gone and also good Chinese knives. Because, man, there's a lot of really good Chinese knives out there. There's one that I did not bring You're triggering with me. people. Damn it. There's one that I really wanted to grab. That, damn it. I love that knife. Anyways. <laughs> Um, I didn't grab it. This knife we did not do a video on. We did a mod on this one too. Yeah, so I did the anno on this side um, only. Flip it over. Show them what it, that's what it used to look like. And, and then, also the clip. Yeah, stay still so I can focus. Um, oh wow, it's really hard to see down here. It's also faded a lot over time, but it is like a rainbow flame anno. Yeah, it's a flame anno. It's really nice actually. And this thing, this is the, um, if Bama's watching, this is that Kaiser Rogue. 
I was talking about, love this thing. This thing is such a perfect utility blade. This thing gets super sharp, and it's just like, it's perfect. You can sharpen it so easily with this flat blade, you know, like with the, the uh, sheep's foot. You can get this thing sharp fast. <clears throat> it's S35. It's very smooth. Yeah, so this is one of my... It's so solid. I actually got this on the secondary market from Rider Man, uh... Writer man something, I forget. It's been a little while. But um, follow we follow him on Instagram. <clears throat> really cool guy. He sells knives sometimes. And we picked this one up from him. Came exactly how he said. It's been perfect. It's a little tank. I love this thing. Yeah, so this is definitely one of my most used knives. I probably carry this one 50% of the week. Although I haven't in the last couple weeks. But that's only because we've gotten some new knives that I've wanted to try out but um yeah this thing is super comfortable for working with all day because it fills your palm you know yeah, so it's it really awesome. nice for that and it's just really easy to disengage the lock bar and just yeah i have no complaints we thought about doing a video on some of our knife mods and how we did them and how other people can do them at home here's another one we did um unintentionally very intentionally this no, we did a, we did a video on this this is the shark and the tip broke off you broke the tip i off. was throwing it at trees and then i stabbed into a tree and bent and broke the tip off anyways so i turned it into a little sheep's foot and i am so much more happier with it like this because man this is over a four inch blade I mean, now it's less than four. I think it's like three and three quarters or something like that. But this thing is awesome now. It's um, it's usable now. It's it just was so big. I mean, look how big this handle is. I mean, this thing is insane. So the small one is probably we thought when we ordered this thing we thought it was gonna be a small one. Anyways, we didn't realize it was two. Of us. Yeah, we didn't realize it was two. Sometimes we order things too fast. But um, it's uh. It is a good knife, though, and I don't really carry it or use it, but it is something, though, that I'm proud of my, uh, let me focus on that. You stay still. It came out really. Just, I gotta do it myself, right, I'm ahead. sorry. It came out really nice, though. There we go. Point at the tip. Show them what you did. Oh, well, I turned, this used to be, um, just a point. It used to just come just yeah, like this. Yeah, it was this. quite a bit longer, You can watch too. the video if you want. Anyways. Yeah, except for the video doesn't show you modding it, though. No, no, but it shows what the tip used to look oh, like. Oh, yeah. It's Artisan Shark. All right, this one is one of the, oh. the Shura Guroff, I think, um, knockoff on, uh, from Ethan Grow, right? Why are, we, why are we giving this knife screen time? Uh, well, I just wanted to show that we... This used to be the jade green, and we turned it from red, and then I um, acid the, the clip and the blade, and then tumbled it, stone washed it. All these acid etches, too, all had stone washes yeah, on Yeah, didn't there. you, like, uh, oh, bronze yeah, and, the liners? Yeah, and I torched the liners and turned them bronze, so it actually came out pretty decent. I mean, for a... Uh, um, for uh, a knife that uh, is really cheap and oh, it's pretty snappy. Let me see too. the liners again. Yeah, those look pretty good. Do you see the color that it originally was right there, the jade green? But do you see the the bronze? Yeah, there, well, the liners so. turned out good. Yeah, so just to be clear, we just grabbed these Eve and grow things to mod it. The only reason why was because he was trying and trying and trying to find a jade green knife to get in at the time. We had already got some, you know, maxed out the knife budget at the time, and um, the only jade green we could find that wasn't, like, over a $100 knife was that. Um, <laughs> so. Shout out to Outpost76. He gave us this. Very awesome guy. Yeah, this thing opens really, like, the opening on it is crazy. Mm -hmm. It's like the thumb sub pushes down, yeah, like, a button a that button. autos it open. It. Let me show him. It's got a button right there. So once you push it, you act like, watch your hand. You act like you're going to open it, and bang. It's very powerful. Yeah, I've what never is, seen that before. It's got, like, the the back spring right here. This is a, a big, like, bar, and it basically has a big spring. It's very powerful. Like, it's got a lot of power, guys. You can hear it. I mean, it's just very snappy. The serrations are very sharp.
Um, it's HCR 13. Somebody on Instagram this... told me what those type of serrations were called, and now I don't remember. But they told me. But it is a cool, uh, very cool knife. And thanks uh, for doing that for us, Gerald. Really appreciate that. Another thing. Um, this we have not. The big lighter. Yeah. Sorry. This we have not done the review yet. We just did the first impressions. We are doing the review very soon. Um, I've gotten a, a lot of time with it and had a lot of fun with it. And I like it. I do like it. It's a, man, it's such a slicey hollow grind. I think it's like 15 thousandths behind the edge. I mean, that's that's thin. I think what you, um, oh, who did it? Um, in the pocket measured his Child, the one he had you. and it was uh 14 thousandths behind the edge so I mean, that says a lot um oh another knife we modded this is a Gienzo. and we did uh i we stone we acid and stone washed the blade these things get hella sharp too and the um the axis locks on these are just so powerful that it's they're like so much stronger than it seems oops sorry about that then um i mean i'm not gonna say it's more stronger than benchmades but they just they have a lot more resistance than benchmades so it doesn't feel like it's gonna break as soon like benchmades are right away are broken these ones you do have to break and so well, at least the older models. I have felt a newer model of a Ganzo where it was really easy to disengage right here. But all the ones that I've gotten, and I think I've gotten three or four access locks, they all were incredibly strong, like almost too strong. So I didn't like that, but they all break in very quickly and then get super smooth. And I mean, this thing ain't got no blade play, no lock rock. This thing's awesome. And I did not like the texture of this. I didn't like this at first, but then just the sound, listen. It's got like a, on the drop, it's got like almost like a muffle because it's so thick. It's just, it seems really, uh, really durable and really strong. Much stronger than uh, some knives. Ha, <laughs> this thing was a gift a gift knife uh i have not done a review on it i should because it's got one of the sliciest hollow grinds look how thin that is this thing is it's an mmp um it's on ball bearings it's um not assisted not assisted yeah not assisted they do make a very small version of this so they got this one then they got a mini version which is really small but this thing's not bad for a $20 knife. And I'm sure if you go, I don't know, but I'm sure if you go online, you can probably find like 15, I don't know, 15, 20 bucks. Yeah. It's, there's nothing special about it, but the blade. The blade is so thin and it's a hollow grind. So it's that thin. It's really comfortable and handled too, though. Just Yeah, saying. it just sucks going in and out of the pocket and it's, it's only, yeah, and then it only does this uh, tip uh, down it. shit. No, you can't. But um, the finger trail is perfect size, but this thing gets so, it's only HCR 13 MV, but man, this thing gets so sharp. I mean, incredibly sharp. Um, another thing we were thinking about doing, uh, oh yeah, on the Tuya video that we did, I forgot to mention this. You could throw these in on your packages for like 10 bucks, 800 lumens. It is rechargeable. Check this out. I put the clip on there just so you know, so it doesn't come with that clip. That clip came from uh, all light. That you lost. Yeah. It's rechargeable, USB. Oh my goodness. Sorry. And then you can focus the light and unfocus it like that, make a big beam, you know, down to a focused beam. It's very awesome. 800 lumens, 10 bucks, perfect in the hand. There's different colors. These things are awesome, guys. To you. So, yeah, this was listed as the copper color, just to be very yeah, clear. It's, it's not to super ya. copper. <laughs> Shout out to you. Um, love to you. Love, love, love to you. Um, I wanted to do, I want to do a video <clears throat> eventually on, um, oh, yeah, this was another thing we're thinking about doing. A video on knives 
that where we go through our whole collection and we're not even showing half our knives right here guys we just get, we sleep in bed with knives so these are just knives in our bed i know it sounds fucked up but hey you got um you didn't clean my blade after work i know it's i got a problem that. i know I it's your that. job well anyways show them, my, show them um my backspace right that i got oh yeah she got the pink backspace yeah i didn't even know you could do that with honey badgers i actually got this directly from that uh, from like their um main outlet which is western active are you gonna want to mod this let me see it I was thinking about buying the tan one also so that I could, like, dye the G10 on it, maybe, and, like, do something there. I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. Maybe I will. I was thinking that if I didn't like this uh, OD green and pink combo, that I would just dye the scales black if I wound up not liking the green. Um, but I like it. It looks like a watermelon. And you guys are probably thinking at this moment, like, they could never have, you know, any more knives in bed with them. But, uh, bang, here's another one. Um... <laughs> This one's the the one we haven't done the review on. We did the we, we did the first impressions on it. We still gotta do the video on this, so we have not forgotten. I love this. Um, thing. we are almost ready to do the actual review. This thing is rock solid. No blade play, no lock rock. Super smooth. Um, in a while. It is a button lock on bearings. We like I said, we haven't done um the full lock. review on this. But um, what I was trying to get to say was that. We are thinking about going through our knife collection, and I don't know if we should do this in parts. Let me know what you guys think, or if we should just do the whole collection, and go through one by one, and show which ones have held up, and which ones have not held up. Like, which ones have gotten lock rock, which ones have gotten blade play, and like show like each knife model. Most of these are budget ones right that here that I'm showing. Really long but video. I know, but I can go through it really quick because some of them don't have any problems. And I can just be like, this thing's held up We're really good. good. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. <laughs> this thing's held up really good. It's rock solid. No problems. Broken really good. It's a really good night. Bang. Go to the next one. Um, And then show the ones that haven't held up like... um, I don't want to do a spoiler alert. Yeah, Maybe you're I doing will. it now. Spoiler. Alright, here's another knife. Alright, this is the leak. The spring broke on it. But... But I like it without that spring. I really do. I usually want to slow roll. I can. Yeah, why don't you show them with the flipper tab? How good it is. Open it. The flipper tab. Yeah, use the flipper tab to open it. Show them how good it is without that spring. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, because the auto isn't working. You can see, like, I can. Assist. It's very. But check this out, though. I've had this for a long time, right? The liner's almost made it all the way over. Not quite, though. Can you get that? Not quite. You're just here. Let me see. You can it. just see it right there. Oh, Bam. You got it. Well, anyways, this thing is. I've I've never taken it apart. Never taken it apart. This thing is so solid. I mean, it is rock solid. Nothing. No play. Nowhere left, right. No nothing. It's never been taken apart. Um, maybe that's why the spring broke, but I couldn't take it apart because I can't get this clip off. This is stripped out, and I didn't really want to mess with it, and I don't mind that it's broke. I actually like it. It's just it's been used so much and open and closed so many times. I wish I would have counted how many times it took to till the spring broke. But, yeah, that you know, like stuff like that. to do that. I know. I'm just saying, though. Yeah, I, mean, I wish I knew how many times it took till one of the springs broke. That's all I'm saying. Um... But, uh, that's like how many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? And the owl goes three, and the owl goes one, two, three, three, and then uh, the spring breaks. Or the, <laughs> I'm um, ow. Okay, I have to say something about this really quick. This hole is this sharp. This awesome. Right here. What? The hole in there. It, just, it eats it's my nails. It's supposed nail. to be. I mean, so it grabs it me, you. but it's a little too grippy. Hold on a second, guys. God, listen, so listen, 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 listen. Really listen to that. Listen to how loud that detent is. That is fucking awesome. I love that. Um, I do got a couple more knives. I don't want to show all these damn things. How do I have so many damn knives in bed? Why? Ooh. Oh, one thing I left out on this video, and I'm sure you guys already do know, but all the information, because you can't see the M390 or nothing like that, it's all on the inside right here. E can you focus? It's probably a little dusty in there. Cause I have been carrying it. Which side is it on? Let me see. It's the side right here. It's that it. you're not gonna be able to see. It. see it. It's too too dark in there, but it's right there. They don't care, baby. 
It's right there. You see the lettering? You can see it barely. It says it's a still, bunch of stuff. Oh, in there. I was so close. Oh, that matter. makes me mad. They got they got it. No, they, they didn't. understand. They understand, Stan. Um, this isn't supposed to be like uh um you know, like a video, like with any real intention. We wanted to get a video done. We wanted to do a knife talk. There's other knife, and this is not how knife talk goes. Usually knife talk has um, an actual thing going for it. I think that's all the knives I got right here. Um, maybe. Uh, maybe not, though. Um, but, anyways. But I, um... Show us one more. Don't start looking for knives. <laughs> um, I, I wanted to... Uh, to do just a video and talk about other videos and get your guys' support and know, like, w give us some feedback on stuff we're doing wrong, guys. Like, seriously, we would love to hear. I bet filming like, in I don't, bed with a plastic lid is That one could of be them. one of them. That could be. And I want to hear, like, dude, that, that video was bullshit. Don't do that again. Like, I really want to hear, like, we do not hold any hard feelings. We're very humble people. We got the biggest sense of humor ever. I mean, it's... We would love to hear some shit that, you know, is bad about us. Like, so then we could stop doing that. Do you so. automatically swear more in videos than bed? You feel I, too casual over here? Well, this is knife talk. I know, but you, you seem very casual. I think it's because you don't have a shirt on. That's possible. <laughs> <laughs> um, this knife, one of the best knives I've ever bought in 50 bucks. Kubi, Aris can't go wrong with getting this knife i'm telling you guys this used to be a satin blade i did so much i know i already said that but so don't picture like that like that's not the way it comes is like this this is normally shiny i stone wash that this thing is look at this action watch this action you can't beat that light switch push button this thing is look at that amazing one drop amazing this knife I'm serious, serious, like an old 450. It really is. Um, speaking of old 450, I know this. Right, are you like going though. through all the knives again, or? Um, yeah, we're gonna talk. Is a little that more. what you're doing? Um, but yeah, we want. Oh yeah, shout out to Bama, Bama knife guy. <laughs> Check him out. Raw business, hell of a guy. Glad to call him a friend. And uh, yeah, we're supposed to be doing some knife trading here pretty soon, ain't we, Bama? Yeah. Very soon. As soon as we get back from Colorado, I do want to trade some knives with you. I think that'd be awesome. You got some really nice knives that I would love to check out. Yeah, for sure. And, uh, yeah, like I told you before, just uh, check out what we got and let us know. Um, but, yeah, like I said, we, we want to go through the collection maybe and then check out, like, what's happened with what and, you know, like, show, like, what's held up and what hasn't. Because that gives you a good idea, too, of, like, if you bought that knife, is it going to hold up? Or what could happen with it. So, um, I love this knife. This is just such an awesome knife. Oh, yeah, speaking of knives, we found a knife speaking tonight. Speaking of knives, um, <laughs> that's all we're speaking tonight. of. Yeah, did you grab it? Oh, that was last night. But no, I didn't. I left it over there. <sighs> I had been missing a knife for like six months, and I found it the other day. And it was a Kaiser, so we'll show that soon. Huh. Really? Well, you're in my space. No, this is my video. Check this out. Um, Get out. This knife is... Look how smooth this is. All right? Well, I mean, just look, look how smooth it is. Right? Completely smooth. No blade play. No lock rock. No nothing. I'm one-handed right now, but trust me. It does not... It is... Oh, so smooth. So was the other one, though. The one we just picked up. The, uh, the bug out. That thing, besides that grittiness... That one will break in. That thing is super smooth. <clears throat> but yeah, we do need to do these other videos on these other knives. We might do a comparison. Check it out. Would you guys want to see a a battle between this and the Ganzo FH12, FH11 slash FH12? I think that would be an awesome battle. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments if anybody watches this. Um, but Those yeah, love homes. we do got some more videos coming. We are going to, um, 
keep working on our format because I wasn't that happy with the way we did the format before because we left stuff out. We did not do it how we normally do it. Normally, we go from head to toe and we describe everything. And I'm not talking about the stuff you can obviously just see like, oh, it has lines right there. I'm not talking about it that. Does? I'm talking about like the stuff that you can't see, you know, like the internals and just everything about it. I feel like we left a bunch of stuff out and I was very upset after, you know, and we posted it. Yeah, you cried for like three hours. I know. I'm still crying about it. Like, why did we do that? But now I do want to make sure we keep getting our videos better. And the only way we can do that is with you guys. Because if... Damn it, baby. You're in this my space. This is my space. If you, if you guys don't tell us what we're doing wrong or anything like that. Besides or, our knife safety. Yeah, besides our knife safety first. Here at Neve's Knives. Safety, safety is first. number one priority. Yeah, safety is the number one priority. Um, we um, we won't know. So it'd be really nice. Hey, you guys want to check out some? I carry every day. Check this out. Cut. Just like this, I carry this every day. Just like this. This is a Kubi wipe. I call it knife wipes. Unwrap. One handed. I carry this every day because I need to get a lanyard. My birthday on this. gift. It's a little pry bar. That I stole back from her that I got. Yeah, that for. was my birthday. She wouldn't I, carry it. She wouldn't carry it. Listen. She carries a different one. No. A little Olight. This I is the battery this, one. She has the rechargeable one. Look at that Anno job I did. Um, guys. It's obviously Look at not the sides. I want to show the rose gold sides. Or the rose, not rose gold, rose yeah, pink. She, we have tons of beads, guys. Titanium beads. And I feel like we're not, we should maybe just give some away. We, should, we need to do it. We're going to, oh yeah, that's another thing. We're going to do some giveaways soon. I know this video is getting long. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Ridiculously long. No one's here. Nobody's here. You're, You're right. just talking okay. to yourself. Okay, last thing. I this am thing just looks like about. a happy ghost. Okay, check it out. This is a very bright light. Um, it takes a AAA lanyard badass. I made We it. might do some lanyards soon, I too, because she's pretty good at them. And also, we are we might do some giveaways soon. Um, I am going to do some more shout outs on the next few videos. Stop. This video is getting a little too long. So, all right, guys, hopefully somebody watches this and gives us some feedback. Love you guys. Peace. Bang. Peace out. Let me just do a review on this. Holmes. Night. Get out of my frame. Oh, yeah. Holmes. Yeah.